Soap Awards. But first, from uh, gay love triangles to <sighs> mysterious pregnancies and even murder, it's been quite... Ema Kenny, the square's Jar Jar Carter. Uh, Laurie Brett, Jane Bill, long <laughs> <and the> <laughs> um, So, is it... What... <laughs> Um, so obviously, you know, uh, th this is. Uh, <laughs> Ema, you had, I mean, your sort of story and your sort of life at EastEnders is really interesting because you started off as a writer for E20. Yeah, I started off as one of the 13 young writers who wrote E20. So did you actually write your part? Yeah, effectively I did. I mean, 13 of us sort of storylined it together, but I had no idea I'd be playing her at the time. So I couldn't, you know, write myself better well, lines. Explain that, that <laughs> E20 is the web sort of spin-off of, yeah. uh, of, of EastEnders. Yeah, that came out in January and has just gone on to BBC Three. And it's proved very successful. Yeah, 3.3 million online viewers, which yeah. was wow, amazing. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Really and so from that, they've sort of um, brought your character into the main fold, if you like. Yeah. So has that been a very sort of different experience? I mean, I guess, great to have 3.3 million viewers online, but then a completely different world when you're on BBC One. Completely different, and the writing's really different because obviously young writers were writing E20, it felt really different, it was a lot choppier. We had music to it and stuff, which makes a huge difference. Yeah. And then you come into this huge show, which is on every night, and that's when you really realise how big the effect of this show is, and people are like shouting so in the street and stuff. So you can't go in there and say, I've written this, I'd, <laughs> I'd like to do Directly this. I think this would be better. No, no. <laughs> she falls in love with Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, if you were going to write your story, then you'd write a baby. <laughs> yes, I oh. know. Poor Jane. She's, um, yes, she had it taken away from her with Liz. She thought she would sort of give over the baby at last. She was going to have it. We're going to see more of a sort of single parent mummy, a little bit harder, possibly, a little bit more fending for herself a lot more, yeah. not relying on Shirley. And because Shirley will be having her own issues with, with Phil. And it's all going to go on, Philip, and I'm going to be any, there. Any love on the cards? Love? I mean, oh, I don't know. She, I'd Look love. Up. Second plea. Corrie have already done theirs. So, uh, so if you're ready, you have 30 <clears> seconds uh, to do it as you please, starting from now. <laughs> Okay. This year was our 25th uh, anniversary. We did the live episode, which took 15.6 million viewers. We've had <laughs> weddings. We've had uh, my wedding. Oh, no, not mine. Simon <laughs> and Vera's. Simon We've Vera. had uh, Archie Lucas. and Peggy. Ricky Sinise and, and Lucas. Bianca. Ricky and Bianca. The big, um, the, the big colourful thing that you did. Yeah, yes. yeah, on the horse. <laughs> OK, on the babies. Horse. Let's move babies, babies. babies. Had, the to had the baby very, very, very traumatic experience. Um, the also, Mrs. 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 had a baby. And, um, and then... Stacey's out of the house. Stacey's out of the house. Yes, yes. Stacey's my brother. It's too much. It's just. Cuddly toy, cuddly toy. Vote for us. Vote for us. Stop. 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 That's it. Vote for us. Thank you very, very much, all of you. Thank you. Well, you have here with Mark Elliott, John Partridge, Ema Kenny, Laurie Brett, and Cheryl Ferguson. So there they are, all ready to play. Here we go. Without.